Hi everybody and welcome back to the Mindful Dancers channel. My name is Karen and for today's video we are going to be doing a little slow practice for our tired, tired feet. So put on some comfy clothes, take off your point shoes, and let's go ahead and we are going to start standing on our mats. Now I know the last thing you want to be doing right now is standing on your tired feet and I see you, I hear you, trust me, trust the video and we're going to give you some relief for your feet today. So we are going to come into a standing position you can start however you want. So maybe you start with the feet hip distance apart. Maybe you want to start a little bit wider today. And you can just maybe have your hands resting at your sides. Or maybe you want to bring your feet close together, coming into a full Tadasana or mountain pose. And if you feel comfortable, maybe you just allow the eyes to fall closed here or maybe you want to keep them open. Whatever feels best for you today. And just take this opportunity to feel a sense of grounding from underneath the feet. Feel a sense of support from the earth below. We're just going to take a few deep breaths here together. Take a deep inhale in through the nose. And a deep exhale out. A couple more inhale in through the nose. And a deep exhale out. Feel the fullness of your breath as you take a deep inhale in. And a deep exhale out, giving yourself permission to let go of the day thus far. Hard part is over. You started the video, you made it to your mat, and now we're here. Let's bring our attention now to the bottoms of your feet. So if the feet are close together like I have here, we're just going to take the feet nice and wide here. And you're just going to have a little soft bend in the knees here. And from here, we're just going to shift our weight from side to side. So just feeling the sensation of our weight shifting from one foot to the other, feeling the softness, the squishiness of our mat underneath our feet. And just having a deeper awareness for the bottoms of our feet. Then maybe you start to ex explore a little bit more with maybe lifting the heel, maybe feeling the mat underneath the balls of your feet, maybe coming onto the outside edge here, and the inside edge, or maybe you're just comfortable shifting from side to side, just feeling the weight shifting. Maybe you're exploring around with just feeling each part of the foot. On the mat. So you're feeling a nice massage for the bottoms of the feet. Maybe you come into a little four starch here. Maybe you want to rock back and 
forth here. Shifting into the heels, into the balls of the feet. So we're just exploring, we're playing around. I'm just feeling a deep awareness, still connecting to our breath here. And if you feel comfortable, maybe you just allow the eyes to just fall closed. Or if not, you can always keep them open. Just observing how the surface feels underneath our feet. Maybe you come off the mat if you're practicing outside. Maybe you come off the mat for a bit and just feel your feet on the grass or on the concrete. And just feel an awareness here. We're gonna take a couple more breaths here just to play around, to explore. Maybe you're just shifting your weight here a little bit more. And if your feet are feeling really, really tired, that's okay. I see you, I got you. Maybe you're just shifting your weight here. And then when you are satisfied, we'll meet in stillness. Just take two breaths here. Just notice how you feel. Imagine you have roots growing at the bottom of your feet. Feeling the sensation from underneath. And then from here, we'll just place the hands at our hips. And we're gonna come into some feet circles here. So we're just gonna come up to a little four starch and then just make a circle with the ankle here. Taking this time here to feel all four corners of the feet, shifting onto the ball of the foot, onto the outside of the foot. Finding some mobility in the ankle joint. This is very good for if you're a modern dancer and you're on your feet all day or doing a lot of jumping, or if you've crammed your feet into point shoes. This is also a good thing to do here. And we'll go ahead and reverse our circle if you haven't already. go ahead and go on to the other side. So just circling your ankle. Good, coming on to the ball of the foot, onto the outside and around. And we'll go ahead and reverse our circle. Go ahead and come back to center. We're going to do those same circles again, but now we're going to go on to the toes. So we're going to go on to the toes, the circle. You can even correct the toes if you want to here. So we're taking this opportunity here to find some love and care for the feet. So we're not jamming our toes into the floor. Really having some awareness. Let's go ahead and reverse our circle here. And then we'll come to the other side, going onto the toes and around. Reverse our circle here. If you cracked the toes on one side, ooh, my toes cracked here. <laughs> you can crack your toes on the other side. And we'll go ahead and come back to our standing position. We're almost done standing and then we'll make our way onto the ground. We're gonna just do some toe lifts. So we're gonna lift all 10 toes up. Feel the ball of the foot on the outside of the foot, rooted into the mat and we'll bring our toes down. Toes lift up, 
and toes lift down and toes lift up and toes lift down if you are able to you can play a little toe piano see if you can bring the pinky toe down then the other toes my feet don't do that so i'm just going to lift my toes up and just bring them down Do one more cycle of breath here. All right, we're gonna take our feet a little bit wider here. And take a big inhale and arms reach up. And then exhale, dive down, forward fold. Just let the back of the head be heavy here. And then from here, we're gonna turn the toes out. So we're in a little second position here. And then from here, we're gonna bend the knees. Just come into a little squat position here. From here, we're just gonna shift from side to side. You can bring the feet in a little bit more if you want to. And once again, massaging the balls of the feet. If a yogi squat is in your practice, maybe you come into a little yogi squat here. Otherwise, you can stay up on the balls of the feet here, just shifting your weight from side to side. And then when you're ready, we'll come into a little seat. Yay, we made it to the ground. All right. From here, we're just going to take the right foot. We're just going to bring it up here. We're just going to give a little uh, foot massage. So as dancers, we use our feet constantly. We're always pointing our toes. We're always jumping on our feet. We cram our feet into point shoes or jazz shoes or tap shoes or whatever profession you do. We're always using our feet constantly. So really take this opportunity here to give your feet some love. If you have essential oils in your home, maybe you put a little lavender oil on the feet. So we're working into the arches here, into the heels, the balls of the feet, the toes. If you want to work up into the ankles or the calves, that's all right too. Or maybe you just concentrate on the foot here. Just some light pressure here on the right foot. Good. Then from here, we're going to take our left hand and we're going to take our index finger and bring it in between the big toe and the second toe. And then we're kind of going into a little hand hold here except we are doing a little toe hold. If you have toe spacers at home, if you've invested in toe spacers, you can put a little toe spacer in between your feet. And for some, this may feel a little bit uncomfortable and that's totally okay. A little discomfort is okay, but we don't wanna feel any pain. So if you're starting to feel pain in your foot, please don't do this. Um, but we're giving our toes a little bit more space. So. When we're in point shoes, our toes, this is my foot here, our toes are always jammed in because we're standing up on our toes. So by doing this bind here, we're giving our toes a little bit of space so that our foot can spread out on the floor once we put weight on it. from our little foot bind. You can wiggle out the toes here if you'd like. And then we're gonna go ahead and switch to the other leg. So bringing the other leg up here, we're gonna go ahead and get into our foot massage. So once again, 
connecting to our breath, even though we're just doing a simple little foot massage, we're still finding ways to connect to our breath while giving some self-love to ourselves, onto our feet especially, because they really need it. toes, maybe you've worked in to the calves already. So this foot massage is mainly just you do you. You find what feels good for yourself. This is, it's your body and this is your time. This is your practice. So if you're doing something completely different from me, that's totally okay. You can just use this video as a simple guide to what you need to do to take care of yourself, especially as dancers, because that's super important in our careers. All right, we're gonna come into our foot bind, coming into our supposed handhold, quote handhold. We're just gonna be here for a few breaths. So kind of like you're holding somebody's hand except it's your foot. And just take a few breaths here. Maybe you just allow the eyes to fall closed here. Maybe you take a little meditation here if you'd like. Maybe you wanna set an intention for this practice. be something such as, I choose whatever you need today. I choose to love myself. I choose to give more time to self-care. Whatever it is you need, maybe you set that intention for today. All right, we're gonna go ahead and release our toes. Good. All right, from here, we are going to come to a little kneeling position here. And we're actually going to come onto the toes. So we're going to tuck the toes. And then from here, we're going to send our hips back. Good. And maybe you want to spread out the toes a little bit. We're sitting on the heels here. So this is a good stretch for the back of the arches. Maybe we close the eyes here. Once again, coming into a little meditation if you want, or maybe you just kneel here, listening to the sound of our breath. Once again, if this is feeling uncomfortable to you at any time, you can always come into a regular hero's pose. Good, and then from here, we'll go ahead and untuck the toes. And maybe you tap the tops of your toes here a little bit. Good. And then from here, we're going to come into Baddha Konasana, Cobbler's Pose. We're going to bring the soles of the feet together. We're just going to take a deep inhale in. And exhale as we fold over the legs, allowing the tops of the thighs to grow heavy. You can reach the arms out long in front of you if you'd like a deeper stretch. And we'll take one more inhale in. And exhale, bring yourself back to center. And we'll just come to meet in a seated position here. And just take these next few breaths just notice how you feel.
Then we'll go ahead and we'll bring the hands to heart center. I want to thank you all for joining me for this beautiful practice. Hopefully you feel a little bit of some relief for your feet. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a like, subscribe to this channel for more content, and then leave a comment down below telling me how you're feeling and what other videos you'd like to see from me. I also have an Instagram, mindful underscore dancers, and also my Facebook page is just mindful dancers. I wish you all a wonderful rest of your day, wherever you're practicing. The light in me honors the light in all of you, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you guys. Namaste.